I'm Brad Edwards. I'm Erica Sargent. Welcome back. Or if you're just joining us for Colbert, here's another example of in-depth reporting we do here every day here on CBS2. An Illinois man fighting against what he calls psychological torture. A street fight and minor probation violation sent him to prison for seven years. It led to a 22-year nightmare and solitary confinement. Now out, he tells CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozlov why he's fighting for a law to keep others from enduring the same fate. Dear Reverend Mariah, I came to prison with a seven-year sentence. The conditions of confinement caused my mind to sink like the Titanic. Letters like this one helped keep Anthony Gay from losing hope and his mind. When I wrote these letters and she wrote me back, her and a few other people, it made me feel alive. Gay wrote them Bad in prison, one of the only here. things he was eventually allowed to do while locked up in solitary confinement for most of 22 years. The psychological torture. The Rock Island native says his two decades of torture began when he was sent to prison in 1994 at age 20 after violating his probation for a minor robbery conviction. A prison fight landed him in that dark small cell and Gay says he began acting out. That increased his time in solitary and soon he began cutting and harming himself. Scars still visible. It wasn't something that I wanted to do, but it became a survival mechanism for me. How so? Um, because psychologically I couldn't stand it, so the physical pain helped alleviate the psychological pain. It became a vicious cycle until 2018 when he got out and began fighting for a law pending in Springfield that would limit a prisoner's time in solitary to 10 days every six months. We need a different approach when it comes to how we treat people, particularly when they're incarcerated. Chicago Senator Robert Peters is one of the bill's sponsors. It's already passed the House. Like Gay, he calls solitary confinement inhumane and believes this is a solution if he can get the 30 Senate votes needed to pass it. I believe because we're a state that's been leading that we have a real opportunity to get this done. It's the 47-year-old Gay's life goal. It's despicable, it's horrible, it's wrong. No one should be placed in solitary confinement, period. Senator Peters believes House Bill 3564 will be a true step towards rehabilitation and criminal justice reform, a win, he says, for everybody. He hopes the bill gets more traction in the Senate so he can bring it up in November. In the Streetside Studio, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News.